Oh, the full wraparound, but they're going to be hearing this one. Cole Dementor's got eyes on this one. In fact, they heard it drop, and they're more than ready for it. Right into the maw. Just colliding the bodies into one another, but it's Guild who are coming out on top. Yeah, they are now facing off against Ye here on the site. Headhunter taken away as well. Such a crucial piece of utility used there. And Ye with only the classic... We'd have to come up with something here. Just trying to isolate one of the fights, but not enough. Finesse looking to clear this as the two IGLs face off. Oh, he just falls off the high ground. His aim gets reset there. A battle happening here on two fronts. Marv oh. has to try and deal with it, but Cold Amenta, oh, he's ripped his head off. That's a little pre-fire. It's a pivot. 30 seconds left into the round here, but is there anything to break this cross in mid? He's going to be able to spot this one. The orb's up. Drop down, Victor, he's in there, but he knows that there's a player potentially lurking deep into their spawn. In fact, Crash is the one who gets caught. And this bonus round at the moment is looking sublime for Guild. This could be back-to-back -back flawlesses. Oh, Victor gets caught right. as well. Every duel going the way of... Oh, so they know that one's lurking through there, but... Should be the B hit for them, and Crashy as well. Hold down that one particular section. Molly dropped down, Marv tries to capitalize. Swings out, but there wasn't really much else supporting it. And here's this flank coming back through. Welcome Neither of these flankers were spotted by Safe, who died in the tube. Ye yeah, picks off Rust from behind now, just as the Viper's Pit blooms. Value being found out of Nightfall as well. Right across them, 30 seconds left in the round here for Gil to really get some damage going for them with the two picks. It could be doable, more than doable. Victor, though, loading his own ultimate. It's going to be suppression across the board. Obviously, doesn't cancel out that pit. Now the plant's going to be going down, and it is being covered. Cold Dementor are just off oh. to the side. And it's just for safe to be holding. And here's Ye coming on the flank again with his operator. Wow. Just okay. getting blocked off by a I trademark, mean, essentially having no impact, getting droned and pushed! This what is a so play! This Love is it! So good! The instantaneous pivot they hear that pit go down and crashes, he just can't find the angle in time. Copious amounts of targets crossing the way, but in a 2v5 situation, okay, gets that one off of tracks, but you're gonna need a miracle still. The way Guild have been moving around the map, so purposeful. It truly is. They are the kind of team. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> That's great awareness as well from Russ to know that that tiny angle was available to Crashies. And now FNS is in a 1v4. Certainly doesn't seem winnable. And called them into backstabbing. Players just sitting into the back of the side. Crashies is in a very precarious position. Still, the spike is going to get planted. Side stepped. The kill's finally going the way of Optic. It's a bit of a first in the kill feed. Prowler even going to be latching onto one of the targets. So definitely blinded, but still safe, whips it around. Oh my word. Shot being found, four kills for a minute. Eventually dealt with though, so the ace will be denied. Crashes though would look and love to try and turn this one. Oh, what a reset. He's found it for his team, finally the round that they needed. <laughs> that is absolutely fabulous from Crashies, but it's still free plan. But right now the players are quite isolated. Call them to trying to catch the timing and finesse. Get your gun out, son. Can't be caught lacking like that. Still, he gets the kill. To the diff for them and dealing with Russ, who's just holding up top. Now the nightfall. Drop that one across the point as well, trying to disrupt a couple of these players. You do have that one tag. Or at least two onto the players. You know the rough positioning with FNS catching that flank timing. Should still be golden for them. Remaining. Trex left alone though, he's got two. Potentially getting another one. Swings off to the side. Victor, safe hands are complete. 180 from the usual pace they've been playing at, but the double face from Optic this time, it comes up with something. It's gonna be the first kill for them. Misto still being played. No one's really covering that back section, in fact, Oh, the kill's coming through. Spike there was a punish, an attempt of it at least from the Optic players, but right now they're scrambling still. Finding the shots, Viper's Pit dropped. Spike, not in play, not planted. Call the Mentor is so weak though. 48 health. Just leaving with the spike. Looks like he's gonna try and make the Galaxy Brain play. What is that? Just basically. Incredibly low. Dart. Place inside the smoke just in case the player dead. The double face, whipping out a headhunter. And Ye comes up with it in time. Running so, so low, but eventually Optic. And they know that the player right back behind the wall. Russ is isolated. Prowler has to be broken there, but Ye's holding down the angle still. Now they're walking forwards, and that is the spike dropped. Not an ideal position for us. Even with that orbital strike, it cuts up the sight. Cleaves it into Twain. It's up to Gil to try and take this space back. Scale themselves into the sight, and that's going to be the flick of the wrist. More the way, you got to be joking. 
skill finding the targets, but now onto the 2v2 time running all the way down to the wire. And if they can deny this plan, if FNS can catch this timing, it could be everything. But drop down still down to it, the 1v1. Safe positioning not known for FNS. Off to the sides and safe catches it. And yeah, they got the kill onto Ye, but they need to get this spike down. Player holding close, a bit of whiffage. Yeah, okay. Marty gets the one. Might be in drop now with a fragment nade and the vulnerability. They actually just combo it up on top of the swing. Kill's gonna be found. A bit of run and gun in action, and it denies the plant. Not enough time. It needed to be stuck. Great play there. Starts being held. Oh, here we go. Right up against it, and Leo, he's good for it. Always. Oh, Leo's just Another one. Clean. Oh my goodness. Now it's gonna be the recon dart, but full information gonna be gained, and this pistol round is looking more than done and dusted. FNS left alone. No health, no weapon. Most people's expectations, obviously. Probably going to be leaning towards e optic taking this series, but it's okay, crashes. Make me eat my words now as I was trying to set up guild doing well. <laughs> I do think, though, that the map pool, as unexpected as it is, injects a lot of chaos into this. I mean, this is a little bit all over the place. The Spectre's at long range, never ideal. Fragment, Ooh, okay. Two bursts of it, FNS being caught. A slow orb just dropped down at their feet. A lot to deny this one, including a shock dart once again. is just surviving, but the one spam at the end remaining. of the day, a little bit too much to overcome. <laughs> and Trex is so clean. Look at this ult. This time, fade ult. Yep. No audio cues. Players still just wandering around, and Marv is going to be claiming too. You want to know command off? Are you really sticking that res? When a player, Marv's still ready and waiting. Leo's going to be dealing with this pesky player. Just lurking and loitering around mid. The time is now running particularly low. In fact, at this point, just gonna be giving up and save. What a play from Marv. I love the idea there of Crashy's ultimate comboing with the Marv flank. It didn't even work. No, I don't see if he doesn't get cleared out of it. Snake bite just before he gets suppressed. And now you see it, Hunter's Fury dropping down. What <laughs> is that? Okay, from the top ropes, gets the one, but Leo still so consistent. Time though, dropping down. Keeps are getting that much more rapid, and Optics still have that line of sight angle. No one's really dealing with Marv, and Smoke's now. dropped down. This is a difficult one to push through. Yeah, he has his rendezvous online as well. So in the 4v4, he can actually take another pick and get out. And this is the impact that Optic have been missing. Used that Brim Molly, but now you can start to hear it. The spike ticking down, and finally, Ye is getting on the board. This guy took him a while, but potentially waking up. Four kills for him. Safe for running away to deny him the Twitter clip. <laughs> Be an ace. <laughs> Mahal yeah. Leo's currently playing, but he's gonna go for spam again. Two players playing up top there. Spike is gonna be dropped down and planted. Still, can they try and hold off the remaining kill players? Trex is taking such an aggressive approach, and he's pushed right through the wall. Resets the aim. He catches crashes as well. All up to Marv. Now Spike is being stuck. The players are gonna be watching these angles as well. Marv will have to perform miracles, and he can't even get it. 3v3, but they don't have realize. information on where any of the players are playing. Crashies could be playing his ult, although he isn't. And that's dealt with. It's really going for the aggressive play here. The Nightfall dropped down. Victor perched up high here onto the Rafters position. The Seas will not be latching onto a target, but still down to the 2v2. Right off to the side. Will he get it? Leo with the widest swing I've ever possibly seen, but now left down to it with time running so, so low. Oh! Let's catch it in the end, but still. Not quite enough time to be able to convert the round. That's Molly that is now being placed and marked with his ultimate. Everything being used now. Chuck the entire kitchen sink at it. Why not? Safe gets the trade in the end. It's being blocked up and still he's found three in the round, but two remaining. Cold momentum with the flank as well. Victor left oh. alone and that is going to do it. Guild eventually cleaning it up. The round going their way. The 13th on the board exactly. Void. The pain shell that was just gliding through the air. And this is going to be a split to put pressure on Cold Amente. Oh, he has no he idea Contact these guys play. are up behind him. Contact play through the two of them there though. Reactions in the end. Crashes is finding it. Flash forward, safe will dodge it. Moving to the side and now the rest of his team is going to be backing him up. Gliding across the screen. Headshot collected there onto Crashes. Now F and Angle though and the players not wasting any time on the guild side of things are they? Horn dropped up, yay. Okay, FNS, he collects it, but not anticipating the player from heaven. Squeezing him at the same time, FNS, great timing. With that swing left alone in the 1v1, Rusto, he finds his mark. Thunder, this is a, a bit more of a passive wall from Russ. Ah, that oh. is the double face. I mean, killed were ready for it. In fact, the spikes dropped. 
positioning gained. Marv with the lurk. Has to try and find his mark, but he's on the ropes. Just slightly inaccurate. It's Russ who wins it out. Oh, and it's a catastrophe for This Optic. has fallen to pieces. They absolutely Shambles. dribbled into ropes there. They they fell to pieces trying to Where clear that area. Where was the other player dropping <laughs> off onto the box? Yeah, no double swing, nothing. Nothing to punish that. Not even a glance into rope before Victor started taking that space. And Guild's timing could not have been better. Both in terms of that fight and the, the other one happening in B Heaven. Is this going to be Optic's economy? Crashed. He's talking about Leo. Yeah. EMEA fans. Of course, Victor operating off the showstopper now, but a slow walk has really just brought him down to a crawl. Let's it rip into the elbow, but so much to being cleared. Is anybody watching that high ground perch? Oh, the crossfire now, just impeccable. Russ anchors it down, making sure to follow up on the rest of his team. All over the place. And Guild, with a couple of plays in front positions, will not his one player back. Stunned a nade, stunned a nade right into the back of the coordination. Oh, it's so good. Victor just about scrambling for his life, climbing up to the boxes, but Trex. Oh, he's going to be double satisfied right across, resets the end from on high. It is absolute pandemonium, but seems like Optic might just be rewarded. Still the aftershock. Leo, you've got to be joking up close and personal. But it might throw off any player that was able to hear it. Great shot from Marv, though, to give them the player advantage. Yeah, the position ain't not quite known, as you can tell, but okay. A flick from Russ Slow dropped down, and time is running so low. 12 seconds here. Optic needs to try and get this left. spike down. Cordamenta was contemplating something. TikTok X play, but planted just onto the other side of default. Still, headshot being found, Mild. We'll trade it. There's the three piece for him. Trex left alone. Oh, and they get it, not quite. It's all. He's going to be dropping down a couple of stars now. Plant into the back, into the nade. Crashies, always praying. Whatever deity you can think of right there. Surviving on 11 health as it was just colliding with the back of him now. But this angle by Victor, that's impeccable. Nade rebounding off the top. Four players left alive for Optic to try and convert this one. It looks like they're in pretty good post plan positions, but Victor, he's whacking his head. Making me eat my words. And that, I believe, is Ye's first. He's still alive. He needs to lock it down to the elbow, but he's left. Just looking this way, that way, left and right, whatever he can do to try and lock down these players that are just swarming onto his site. Optic coming up huge this time around, though. Ye with the angle and a flick of the wrist. He catches that one player gliding across his screen. Now Victor, showstopper in hand. Killing his way around. Timing. Oh, yeah, he's watching it. The angle's there. Still perfect. planting for the heaven control, though. Yeah, I mean, Trex just knows where to spam. Absolutely perfect. And Trex wasn't able to use his nade or his showstopper. He got suppressed up by the knight. Can't now. It's going to be the res in play. Wall to try and block the line of sight angle. No one can punish it. But Optic do have that spike down. Yeah, he's going to be smoked off now. FNS holding close, showstopper into the back, right into the smoke. Oh, Boombot even just catching a bit of that damage onto it, but the kills are still flowing. Victor repositioning, pushing his way through. Now Marv off to the side. He knows his players just swarm in the side, off into Albo. Victor, Satchel over the top, tries to get a favorable engagement, tries to get a favorable fight. The reset, 36 health remaining. A kick. Okay. Quick tap of the spike. Straight into the wall, but now Guild want to go a bit faster. Oh, finding it, Crashies, Frenzy, and oh, Victor's going to be rejoining and helping out the rest of his teammates. Flash over. The FNS is alone. Paranoia dropped down. He's going to be repositioning just behind the box. He's to wait it out now. That flash is impeccable, but killed already and waiting still. Are they going to be able to get this spike down? They have to commit it. Nope. They have to stick it. No, no time. They don't have time. Marv survives, and that's it. That's going to be the round secured. Oh, and that is changing utility from both sides. But it seems like they do want to try and go fast. Evanes is right up close in their faces. The wall dropped down. No player playing on top of this one. Is this guild coming out on top? The spray transfer. Down okay, Victor. Two kills for him. Eventually will fall. But Coldement has ate a ton of damage in the process. And look at how fast this flank is from Ye. Without a, a trademark to cover the flank, Ye's been able to get into this position. And Safe and Coldement are barely just getting set up. It is a nice down. smoke. Oh, he knows the positioning. He knows the cam. He can hear it. That is the angle found. In fact, the first step on top of it. There's Ye. Getting more than on the board. Finishes up the round for them. Because now with 20 seconds remaining, the time yeah. running so low. Optic. Okay. It was up to Ye. But now Marv still left alone. Tucked away into the corner. For being in this a familiar situation. Hello, Russ. Players eventually dealing with him. 
Nightfall to scatter across, and the Prowler's going to be latching onto one of his targets. Spike is down and planted, but they know the positioning, and they can just spam efficiently and effective enough with the retake. Yeah, good work there from FNS with his ultimate, catching a lot of people. But, <laughs> but it's Tricks. going B. It is. They are aware of it. Mavs was holding it, and in fact, he's got the angle locked down. Rolling Thunder. It's Leo just trying to make the most of it, trying to help the rest of his team. Flash sent straight through the pillar on top of it, but still, FNS, it's a wraparound. Uh -oh. Does he expect a second? Gliding across the side, that's safe, though. Very, very wall bangable. There's a fight here about to happen on both sides. Not to anything. Guild getting the better end of the one over towards screens, and Ye left with it all to do in the 1v2. Drops down. Spots the one player. Does he Can expect he this one? Uh, he's just going to get spammed here, surely. Off to the side. The spam tries to reset. Okay. The shock to push any player out of hell. Position moving forwards. FNS is really just getting the kitchen sink once again. Chucked at him. The swing from on high. Kills being found. The time running so, so low. Marv still anchoring it at the back of this pillar. Spike has to go down. In fact, he's dropped the player who was just in possession of it. Not enough time to work with, in fact, with Crash, he's supplementing. First death, not been able to get any kills on the board. He's looking amazing here at Masters. Exactly where his team needs him. Oh, Leo needs to dodge this fragment grenade, though. Yeah, dodge and juke away from that one. That fragment did end up finding the pick, and now down to the 2v3. Surely this round can't get that dangerous. With safe on the lurk as well. No way. Crash is collecting No way! What is that? Crashes with a flick to the talking to the devs. Yeah, he so knows something we don't. Another tap play. Still, the fight is fast. Right away into the site. Flash off to try and at least push the players back and away. Plant going down. Crashes. He's got the ultimate available. That knife is going to be tagging onto four players. He knows they're ready. Away Whoa. for the jiggle. Is it going to be any coverage? Locks it down in a jump peek as well with the classic in play. <laughs> Tip tap, FNS gets that space up into A heaven, but no one anticipates it. Yep, the crossfire is there. On the ropes early. They're fired up, and look at this space. What is that? <laughs> Instantaneous punishment. Trex. Yeah, he brought the operator into it, but that was a paranoia. It was a double satchel play at hand, and Russ, of course, is there. Steady is the hand, but FNS he wants to cancel it out. You've got to be joking. What is that spray control? FNS deciding oh they are. Of course, their placement. Just backs away from the timing. The haunt, the angle, the being found! Oh my goodness! And FNS has to finish it! The tip tap, the reset! Called by Optic, two of the players, Marv and Ye just trying to make the most of it. How are you getting away with that one? He swings into a blast pack. Just absurd. Should not be favoured in it, but Optic. Clean. And by the time the trip gets broken, there's already four people heading into the B site. Go for a contact push. No way. Wait a second. This would have to be a 1v5 ace for Call Dementor. Horn spots the positioning and yeah. Just a little bit differently saw him. And now the timing is just amazing. No way. There's no shot safe survives. Angle being watched. Maybe a footstep possibly being heard, but they don't overstay their welcome. It's the kill and they back out. In fact, they give the information to Marv and he set it to succeed. Still, Trex is in. Double satchel play. Just try and break that crosshair placement. Trex. Locks it once more. Leo supplementing it on top of it. The spike will get planted at default. That gives him the showstopper online and sends it flying right against the back wall. Down to just Ye. The 1v3. The jiggle peak. The positioning is no cold mentor. Tip tap as well. The positioning just resetting. But Trex is Trex. Yep, just hop straight past it. Line of sight angles that might have been being watched. 20 seconds remaining and they're taking the spike the other direction. Yeah, the audible called. They're going into Russ. Right into Russ is locking it once more. Down. Three kills for him. Ten seconds left. The damage. Oh, it's more than done. FNS, not enough time. Last Can't safely standing. clear it out. Can't even get the spike down. And that from Trex. He's paranoid up. Can't see a thing onto the side, but he's got to try and make sure he deals with these players. Marv whips out the free gun, but now the line of side angles. It's there for them. A fast retake crashes. He flashes straight through. They just can barely get their bearings, but now down to the 1v1 kills. Moments away, Leo, ultimate online. Rips it across a 